This is Broadcast House, 40th and Brandywine Streets, Washington, D.C., February 10th, 1954. Here to show you in your home through our new home is Eddie Gallagher. And now we'd like you to meet a gentleman who's been a pretty busy boy around here for quite a while. This is our vice president, it's the first time I met a vice president in a long time, in charge of engineering here at Broadcast House, Clyde Hunt. Well, Clyde, it's nice to have you with us, and I suppose you would say that, well, WTOP has certainly come a long way, hasn't it? It certainly has, Eddie. What were the old days like, Clyde? Well, it'd be difficult to go into all the history, but a point for a good brief resume probably would be in 1932 when uh, Columbia Broadcasting System brought WJSB from Mr. John S. Baines. We were in the Shoreham building with our studios at that time, and the transmitter was out by Mount Vernon. Then uh, we moved into the Warner building in 1933, and we opened up with a 50,000-watt transmitter out in Wheaton, Maryland in 1940. 1943 uh, was when we changed the call letters from WJSV to WTOP. <laughs> then in 1949, uh, WTOP was sold by CBS to WTOP Incorporated. We stayed in the Warner building with our studios and offices about 20 years till we moved out here to Broadcast House. Uh, Clyde, uh, that's a wonderful story, and I know that there's lots of things we could talk about, but you've seen lots of changes over the year, the, the, uh, the wonderful equipment that we have, but what's next for our, uh, our listeners and viewers? Well, of course, I think the thing that's on most people's mind now is color television. Are we going to have it here, Clyde? Yes, within a couple of months, we should be able to retransmit the color programs of the CBS network, and possibly about this time next year, maybe a little sooner, a little earlier, we should be able to originate full-color programs here from the studios and broadcast house. That's wonderful. Clyde, thank you very much, and I'm sure that our viewers have enjoyed meeting one of the many men behind the scenes. Clyde Hutt, Vice President in Charge of Engineering. Thank you, Clyde. This is Broadcast House, Washington, D.C., February 10th, 1954. For tonight's introduction to Broadcast House, the executive producers were Patty Seawright and Tom Tausig. The writer-producers were Larry Beckerman and Tom Jones. The directors were Larry Beckerman, Tom Jones, Clark Pangle, and Bob Quinn. This is Lee Vickers speaking.